Hello again. In the past few weeks, the state of the DCPU16 seems to have gotten settled, without any new features being added anymore. That gave me the opportunity to experiment and create special hardware of my own, and to see what possibilities they would open. Since I'm maintaining an emulator myself, that's where I did everything you're about to see. If you're interested in trying it out for yourself, you'll find the download link in the video description. The first piece of hardware I added was a very simple PC-style speaker with fixed volume and variable frequency, generating a square wave form. It's mainly useful for simple beeps, but if you're talented, you can make music with it too. Here's a piano application using the keyboard for input, generating tones. You can use these two rows of buttons to make differently pitched tones. So this is one of the rows, and this one's higher. You can also use the shift key to make this row even higher pitched, or this one even lower pitched. And you can use this like a regular piano, although you can only press one key at the same time. You can make different tones at the same time. And if you're talented at all, you can play some simple tunes. The second device I programmed is a virtual serial port, which is very flexible and allows a lot of new things to do. It uses the emulator program's standard input and output for communication, so you can connect it to a separate program running on your system, like another emulated DCPU machine, or you can use it to talk to the outside world. This is a simple test program for the serial hardware. Here you can see the DCPU window of the emulator, and here's the terminal. Here you can enter text and it goes to the standard input of the emulator. And the serial hardware reads from the standard input, and what this test program does is print the text to the screen, considering new lines. And it works the other way around too. The serial interface is input and output. You can Put, uh, press keys in this window and it will print them here in the terminal window. It's very simple, it doesn't do much. I thought it would be fun to be able to control a real life turret like you will probably be able to do in the game OX10C. This is easily achieved by connecting a driver program to the emulator's serial output. Look! This is the turret controlling program by itself. You control the DCPU directly using the keyboard and it sends signals over the serial connection over to a Python program which controls this USB turret launcher. So you can turn it up, down, left, right any direction, even at the same time, and you can make it fire. You need to hold it down to make it reload too. Also, to use the speaker hardware I made, I added an, an alarm function, which does this. It will, it's mainly useful if you remote control it. 
to one others maybe. Also the LED on the turret lights up. The serial device, however, allows for greater flexibility than that, so I made the turret remote controlled, with the user controlling a client DCPU, which is connected over the serial port and the TCP tunnel to the server machine, which controls the turret. Here are the results. Testing turret.